Hello again. Tonight I'm going to show you how to lap valves. Now I've already lapped this one here. This is the exhaust valve. And we're going to be lapping the intake valve. Now, as you can see, the difference between these seats. See how this one is kind of has a bit of a dull finish not quite dull but not quite shiny either I'm trying to get the light right there that's kind of what you should have it to look like kind of a nice shiny but wore in no spots no pits now here's a seat that needs it see how it's it's shiny like almost mirrored See the reflection of my finger in the corner? And you might be able to make it out. These little tiny spots, those are just very small pits. Now we know that there aren't cracks because we checked this with dye penetrant. But those are just small pits and they'll lap out. Now here on the valve, let me get you a good shot. See how the valve has kind of a finish in the center there, where it lapped in, it's a little bit dull. That's what you want it to look like the whole way around. Let me bring it into the regular light. So that's what we're going to make this intake valve look like. So all you really need to do this is the valves of course a valve lapping tool which is pretty much a stick with two suction cups on the end you can pick these up at advance auto I think I bought this a few years ago you need some lapping compound this is just regular old Permatex there's the number for it and uh, it's you should always put oil on the stem I'm just using three and one in that can because it'll it seems to help actually clean the valve guides out a little better than just regular oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the procedure. There we go. So once you have the valve face, oops suction cup to the uh, tool. What you want to do is just take some of your lapping compound. You don't need a whole lot of it. There we go. Just go around the face. Little spots. So I just kind of dabbed it on there. Then just take a little bit of oil on the stem. This will help protect the stem from getting scratched if there's any dirt in the guide. Just stick it in there. Okay, now you're going to turn it like you're going to make a campfire with a piece of, with a stick. And I'll show you what to listen for. Hear how it's kind of like a hollow grating sound? That means it's cutting. You want to keep doing that. See how it's not grating anymore. It's just kind of. Whenever it starts sounding like that, you just pick it up, turn it, and set it back down in. You keep doing that. And that kind of mixes up the compound a little bit. Now after a little while this stuff tends to wear out and you have to clean it again. So every time I do this I try and keep the stem away from the seat. And I actually wipe the stem off every time because sometimes there will be a little bit of dirt on there. But I'm just going to show you once I clean this valve what it should end up looking like. 
what you want is basically an unbroken um, surface. So I'll show you what I mean. See how it goes the whole way around? And it's just solid the whole way around. The height is the same. And there's no marks. Now, you want the same for your seat, too. Let's get clean this off. After every time you do it, go ahead and clean the seat off and inspect it. See how it's starting to get a nice ring around there? It's not broken. There's no space where there isn't any of this uh, color that it's turning into as it's wearing. That's what you want. You just want a nice solid line the whole way around. But that's basically the general idea of lapping in valves. Uh, just remember to wipe the stem off and put new oil on it to keep any dirt from getting trapped in there. But once you get those all lapped in and all the seats look good and there's no pits or marks or anything in the seats, you can go ahead and put your valve springs on. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And there's also a little trick to ensuring that your valves are seating before you put the heads on the engine. I'll show you how to do that. Alright, thanks for watching.